Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to dive right into it today. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed, commented, engaged with the channel, whether that be on the YouTube or the live streams. We recently hit 1,200 subscribers. Uh, you guys have no idea how much that means. Uh, no one really ever sees what goes on behind the scenes. Uh, if you're a creator of any kind, then you know that. So when you release something and people respond to it well, it is an amazing feeling. So thank you so much again. This video is going to be about the hype around what type of content creator you should be and what you should do to stand out. Now, my challenge to that statement is, should you really try to do anything at all? Try not to ramble too long in this one because it's a pretty straightforward point. That being that you watch any content creator or any video about how to be a content creator on YouTube in 2024 going into 2025, and you're going to hear a lot of phrases along the lines of, you need to figure out what to do to stand out. You need to figure out what to do to be unique. You need to figure out how to get people to notice you. Why would people like you? Why would people want to watch you? Now, I do agree that those things are important to think about. Those things are important bullet points to come back to, to analyze, to adjust your scope of focus on as you continue down your YouTube journey. Now, I can only speak to being a gaming YouTube creator. It's the only content on YouTube that I have predominantly focused on making. Now, I'm not a big creator by any means, but I will share my insight on how I feel that this view is slightly flawed and why I think it convinces a lot of YouTube creators to abandon their journey too early on. The first and foremost is that you are never going to be able to do anything on YouTube or really anything on the internet, quite frankly, that has not already been done. Just get that thought out of your head right now. You're never going to be able to do it. Anything that you think that you could do has already been done. Now that does not mean that you could not do it in your own way, that you couldn't put your own spin on it. So by all means, don't let that stop you from pursuing an idea. But the idea itself that you need to be this holy and uniquely original person that no one has ever seen before is, is gone. That's long gone. If you joined YouTube in 2005, then yeah. I mean, you could have very easily made that have worked in a myriad of ways. But those days are long gone. Not everyone is going to be a Dr. Disrespect who revolutionized the streaming industry by being basically a theatrical professional. Former. And I know Dr. Disrespect is under a lot of heat right now for good reason, but no one is going to be able to replicate or mimic what he did to the industry. And you shouldn't try. You're not going to be able to be a Z laner dropping 40 kills a game every single game or a Tim the Tatman or whoever it is that you may watch. You don't have to try to be those people. I'm all for adopting qualities of those people, trying to emulate and replicate positive things that those people have done and how they've made their streams fun or adapted their skill level to be cracked out really fun to watch players. But we don't need more of them. We need more of you. So the stress that comes with having to constantly think about how you can be this diamond in the rough, needle in a haystack, no one's ever seen this before, no one's ever heard this before type of creator, in my opinion, is just not worth it. And it takes a lot of joy out of the creation process because that's all it really is in the end is a process and sometimes you're rewarded for it and sometimes you're not now to second that point another common misconception that a lot of people seem to have and it really has ruined streaming in a lot of ways in my eyes is the idea that you have to be this grandiose super flamboyant extravagant borderline reckless persona on the internet to garner attention you put yourself at risk in danger perhaps you put other people at risk or in danger maybe you sacrifice some of your dignity dignity and integrity you make a fool of yourself and others just all of this crazy stuff 
to get people to look at you because that's all it's really about in these creators minds look at me look at me look at me they don't really care about you they don't really care about what's going on with their audience half of the biggest creators on these platforms now are trash people they're they have no moral foundation no ethical character they're trash they endanger themselves they endanger others they make fools out of themselves online and this misconception that you've got to be this super over-the-top person is not well founded and that's that's what one of my recent videos was about, which is that streaming, at least in the content creation perspective as a person, not necessarily the games, has just gone off the rails in a lot of ways, that included. Now to sort of fast forward into what I think the proper approach is because the list of reasons why this is not a great thing to do or why the state of the industry is not a great place to be could go on and on and on but I don't want to focus on the negatives I want to fast forward now to what I think the true key and what I've learned up until this point on my journey is and again I'm speaking to primarily gaming content creators but also creators in general I think as cliche as it may sound and you've also heard this before too the best thing that you can do as a creator who is trying to find what works, figure out what works, who you want to be online, what you want to represent online, is to just focus on yourself as a person. Almost the same way that someone who would recommend meditation or yoga would suggest that you do. Stop focusing on what YouTube or what you think YouTube wants from you and what you think an audience wants from you on YouTube and start internalizing and introspecting a little bit more and start trying to figure out how you want to develop as a person. Start thinking about who you want to become and develop as, as a person. Now I'm not talking about full existential crisis here online. I'm talking about in direct relation to the type of content you present and the opin opinions and thoughts and views and beliefs that you have around that content. Think about how you can best represent yourself as an individual, as a creator. That is going to translate directly over to your audience because the people who relate to that and see that and respond to that within you and within your videos are gonna be the ones who stick around for the long haul because that's a direct representation of who you really are. Now, I'm not saying that as you go along and that you get more comfortable, you don't develop some aspects of your YouTube game that spaz it up a little bit. I've done that. You introduce new technological features that make it a little bit more fun, more quirky. You address a, a heightened level of persona that you wouldn't walk around with in normal everyday life, that's fine. It's, it's about being entertaining just as much as it is about being authentic, but you've got to have the authenticity first. It's not just enough to be entertaining because what you'll find is that if you're strictly entertaining but you're not invested in what it is you're presenting, how and why you're presenting it, you're gonna burn out. You're gonna burn out, you're not gonna have fun, and eventually people are going to start to see through that facade and realize okay, you know, something's shifting here. So despite all of the YouTube tutorials out there, all of the channel audits tutorials telling you what you need to do from an analytical and technical perspective, as well as a purely entertainment point of view, I'm suggesting that you spend a little bit more time in your YouTube journey introspecting into how you can be your most authentic self first on YouTube. You will have a hell of a lot more fun creating content. You'll be passionate about it. People will be able to hear it in your voice. They'll be able to see it on your face. Then, as you start to gain confidence and comfort, you can add in those flashy things and it won't erode where you began. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is just my perspective. That's one of a million ways for you to address being 
successful on YouTube. But don't forget that the entire point of being a content creator in the first place should not be that I will one day be a millionaire from this, I'll have fancy things, people will know my name. The amount of people that make it to that level is less than 10%, probably less than 5%. And that's coming from someone who is pursuing YouTube, seriously. That is not to discourage you from continuing to go, but it will not carry you to the finish line. So please take a little bit of that stress off of your shoulders and have fun, man. I know it's hard as hell out there for people like me who are in the gaming space, first person shooters, battle royale. It is dead as dead could be, man. We've got to have new stuff. It is coming, but please take a little bit of that stress off of your shoulders when it comes to who you think YouTube wants you to be. And instead, show YouTube and your audience who you really are. YouTube pulls videos that matches what the audience wants to see. So if you're being who you really are to the fullest degree and then spicing that up a little for fun, it's going to match you with the people who really genuinely respond to that and who will be there with you for the long haul. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking through to the end of this video. Thank you a ton to everybody who got this channel to 1200 subscribers. The growth is awesome to see. Behind the scenes takes so much time, work, and effort. We are live three days a week here and on Twitch. There are descriptions in the video and on the channel to take you to the Twitch if that's your preferred platform. Would love to have you as a part of the community to have open discussions like this during the live streams. At the very least, guys and gals, if you could throw a like on the video, that helps a ton as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's what it's all about here. I'll see you guys online.